it a little bit further. We've got the two flights here from Virgin and one from oh, the flight from Virgin and one from Qantas as well. But there's also, if we look further down the screen here, we've also got other flights from Virgin and Qantas. Let's have a look at what the offerings are there as far as the planes go. So we'll close this area here. And we can see Virgin, oh, all of a sudden there's a different plane. Previously we looked at it, flying the Fokker F100, which has 84 centimetres of legroom. But if you took the other flight, which is early in the morning, you fly in the 737 and you're getting only 79 centimetres of legroom and you've got stream to media to your device options in both of them. So just within the one airline and the same flight, you can find various options. Let's do the same for Qantas. As you go to Qantas, as we said before, the 737. Let's have a look if we catch the red eye leaving at 5.55 in the morning. Whoa, hang on. We've got the 737 here. And if you scroll further down, we've got the Fokker 100, which has got above average legroom of 86 centimetres, but no on-flight entertainment. And we'll scroll down one more and have a look at another one. And it's different again. So we've got Qantas flying the Boeing 717, and you just got a little bit more legroom, not as much as the other plane. So the 717 has 79 centimetres, the Fokker's got 86. So if you don't have a choice, but if you have a choice of flight times, but legroom is an important thing and you want to fly for Qantas, with Qantas for points or a reason, well, have a look around and choose the plane. It might make a difference. Uh, to making your flight that little bit more comfortable and making you enjoy the flight that little bit more.